Hi, I'm Summer. Uh, my assessment that I have is the Community Integration Questionnaire. The purpose for this questionnaire is used to assess the social role limitations and community interaction of our clients. It is primarily used for people that have acquired brain injuries, spinal cord injuries, and are recovering from stroke. Um, there is no like specific um, protocol to um, having this assessment done. It can be done over the phone or in person as it's just a questionnaire. Um, and it only takes about five to 10 minutes to complete and it only requires paper and pencil. The questionnaire consists of 15 questions that are divided up into three subsections. The first one is home integration, the second is social integration, and the third is integration into productive activity. So scoring for this assessment, um, the totals can range from 0 to 29. And for home integration, the total score that you can get in that section is 10. And for social integration, it is 12. For Productivity, it is seven, and most items on the questionnaire you can get from a zero to a two. Um, and higher scores at the end of the assessment indicate greater independence in community integration. So the first question of the questionnaire asks about who does the grocery shopping for the household. And I personally, I like to have my girlfriend do it because she loves it. Don't you think? Another part of the questionnaire asks about visiting friends and family. And as a grad student, I have no time for anything remotely leisurely. But for my sister's birthday, I have flown out to Maine to watch her at her school soccer game. <laughs> Another part that the assessment evaluates is volunteering. And for my volunteer work, I like to help the elderly cross the road. <laughs> Um, speaking of the elderly, the age limit for the assessment is 18 to 64. Another area in which the assessment evaluates is whether someone has a best friend to confide in. And would you look at that? Hello? That's so crazy that you would ask that. The domains that the assessment evaluates? Um, well, it evaluates their occupations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so cool. All the strengths and weaknesses of the assessment. Um, well, the strengths are that it covers many main areas of occupation. Um, it's a quick assessment. There's minimal items required to administer. There are two versions of the scale available, one for interview with the client and one used for interview with the family. A proxy can also read the questions to them or someone can complete that for them. Right, right. Yeah, and the weaknesses are that it is subjective as it is a questionnaire. Um, and questionnaires can be interpreted differently by different people. Um, so it's not helpful in assessing the emotional complexity of the person. And it can also, the answers be influenced by their cognition, their mood at the time of evaluation, environmental factors, and outside life factors. Yeah, bye. God, isn't she so reliable? Speaking of reliability, the Community Integration Questionnaire has an average reliability of 0.83 to 0.96, and the validity is poor in comparison to the Barthel Index and other assessments, but with TBIs, it ranges from 0.56 to 0.96. So this assessment is good for therapists to use because it allows them to assess the areas of occupation that their clients participate in, um, particularly within their community. Um, it also gives them a look into the level of independence of which they complete these activities in. And that is all for the Community Integration Questionnaire. Uh -huh.